We're going to try out this deck that I've just put together. It is, other than Quick Ball, rotation proof. So, uh, we'll give it a go. I love an excuse to play Arceus. The Giratina is probably going to be uh, a large aspect of how we play the game going forward. Although, the thing that we might want with this, which is the knockout through whatever the attack is called, the V-Star power, we can't get to. So we are just relying on the pure 280 damage. Flash 310 with a choice belt, so we'll see how it goes. <coughs> I've, I've tried Giratina Arceus before, and I've not been the biggest fan of it, but we'll see how it goes. We do like 50 damage, we've got the win anyway. This is an awful start. Perfect. <laughs> At least we get a mulligan. Also, I've been playing so many steel decks. It's ridiculous. There's an Arceus, powerful energies, metal energies, capture energies. What is that deck? Four mulligans. Well, very polite of you. Very neighborly. Okay, first issue is we need to get rid of the Drapion. The game isn't too bad right now in terms of getting Arceus. And we've got two Quick Balls and an Ultra Ball. And Arceus V-Star in hand. Um, what we want, yeah, is a DTE and Arceus in the active. Realistically, this Drapion's dead. Okay, that solves that issue. We might just be able to leave it there, to be honest. I'll tell you what we will do, though. If they don't have an answer to that, then we're going to be in a very interesting position. Um, let's get rid of one of the Arceus V-Stars. Grab ourselves a Bibberol. Oh, sorry, a Bidoof. Got a Bibberol for next turn. And then... Let's call it there. If we can stop them from using the V-Star power next this turn, we're in a pretty good place. They can't use Star Birth. They can attack... A knockout, which is fine. We actually want this Drapion out of the way. We can't return the knockout on the Arceus, which sucks. But we can power up our Arceus V. I didn't check, and I should have. If we've got Pumpkin Boo, we can bump the path and go from there. Then we can replay the path just to really upset them. A great position to be in. There's the DTE, perfect. That's one less thing we have to find. So, uh, give me the Bidoof. I think we quick ball away the Ultra Ball just to make sure we can get what we need. There's our Pumpkin Boo. Play the Pumpkin Boo down to bump the path. Then give me an Industrious Incisors. Dreamer's actually playing like he knows what he's doing. Um. Puff. Into research is tempting. Half into research is very tempting. So Bliss is going to be our main issue. So let's get Flying Pikachu. Or do we just go Giratina and start doing the damage? I think getting the Giratina and just doing the damage might be the way. Mm. Let's go Flying Pikachu. And we'll judge as well. So, path, judge, Trinity Nova. I hope this doesn't give them an out, because I'm going to be very annoyed myself. <laughs> yeah, another research and a right hand's pretty nice. We know we're not going to get knocked out in the Arceus. That's fine. We need to keep the grass and the psychic for the Giratina. Realistically, we could have got away with, like, not even um, putting full energy on the Flying Pikachu because we've got a double, double turbo there, but fine. I'll probably try to go for a return knockout here. I'd be very surprised if they don't. The question is, are they going to continue Trinity over and try and power something else up? Okay, it is just a straight Arceus with Blissey deck and they're using Metal Energy for some reason. I'm not sure why. Like, Water Energy would be the best bet so you can use it with Metal Energy. Not really sure what the game plan is here. I need to be careful because that Arceus could be a problem for Flying Pikachu. 
Um, and honestly, I'm tempted to research, even though we're going to lose DTE doing this. I think we pop DT on Berberol. See what we get with the industrious incisors. That's fine, and we'll research this entire hand. Giratina is what we wanted to see. We also wanted to see the flying Pikachu. So let's get rid of one of the Giratinas and the RCS V-Star. Get ourselves the Chonk Chew. Oh lord, he coming. And then... Honestly, retreating into the Pikachu, kinda tempting. I think we'll take our knockouts where we're giving them. They'll probably knock out with the Blizzy, which is absolutely fine. Because then we can bring up the flying Pikachu. Hey, James, how's it going, buddy? Problem is, we are losing the prize race a little bit here. So, literally, it depends on if they have an Arceus V-Star or not. If they do, we move up the Giratina. If they don't, we'll move up the Flying Pikachu. And then we just hope that we don't give them an out if we uh, judge. A little bit concerned, though. Kentucky Fried Camby. Thank you very much for the follow. Very much appreciate it. Please raise your do do's in chat for Kentucky Fried Camby. Um, right. This arse just doesn't go down. Why well, Pikachu can, like, free retreat? I don't know why I'm worried. The V-God is pretty nice. I think we attach that to... How much damage are you doing right now? 30 for each energy, so 90, 100, 130. 130 is not that much of a threat. Chad, I'd like to introduce you to famous last words. <laughs> Congrats to you and KS. Still got another eight years or so before we start running out of present ideas. No, but we keep continually joking about how... Um, like several years into the relationship now, which has become the new thing. Five decades of uh, being in the relationship. We actually forgot like how long we've been together yesterday, or whenever it was. I can't remember what day it was, because I'm old and falling apart. You can't control me, you can't control me. I need to be careful, I'm running through this deck. Um, we got the path back, which is amazing. Yeah, we're in a really weird position, actually, because I was kind of confident, but then they've only got two prize cards left to get. I'm moving between Path and the Constant Judges. I've just been doing enough to, like, cause some issues. We are pogging. I'm going to be absolutely real with you. I've not been playing well against some very basic decks recently. It's a point of, uh, upsetness. What are you doing? They don't have the knockout next turn. And Miltank won't get the knockout. I'm kind of like, do we retreat? I think we stay where we are. Oh, this is kind of awkward. Okay, I'm gonna Ultra Ball away. Research and path. I'm actually not looking for anything, I just want to play some space. I just want to see what my options are real quick. Okay, Judge is interesting. I'm like, where is my energy? Because I've only got two here. They've got nothing in their hand right now. We knock out the Arceus, they can do what? 130, which isn't knockout, but they attach something, it is knockout. I think we'd be smart here. Which is very rare, I'm very aware. We match the win. And hope, if we absolutely have to, we can profess the research into energy. We should be able to. Let's switch, we're fine. We've got boss as well, so unless they top deck something incredible here, we're fine. <laughs> the real issue is we just had to sacrifice the energy. <laughs> okay. How many bosses do we have available to us? We've got at least one more, so... If they try and get rid of the Blissey, then we're good. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, I think we're solid. Because they, they could retreat this Blissey if they put one more energy onto it, which would be a, a weird play. Then we just have to dig for the boss. Sharon's care here would be really irritating. I don't really know what I'd do. <laughs> I'd just be stuck against the mill tank. <laughs> uh, stop powering up the pump, Kaboo baby. Let's go. I mean, Bibberal's there with the two energy as well, so... <laughs> we could do some... Oh, fuck you, come on, dude. <laughs> we could do some shenanigans. I mean, it's kind of funny, because, like, Lion Pikachu just exists and won't get knocked out by this mill tank. We're kind of both digging at this stage. We need one more grass energy. There is one somewhere. It must be in the prizes. I just want to have a look to make sure that I've actually got what I need in deck. So there is a boss. There's a Serena. And there is a grass. So we, there is things we need in there. I don't want to risk a professor's research right now, though. Oh, this is awkward. Come on, just give, me, just give me the one piece I need. The one piece is real! The one piece is real. It's not real. We need the... No, it's not real. We still need the boss. Which is a real issue. I spent last night trying to explain to my mom how to use OneDrive, which I've never used over the phone and for her uni account, so I couldn't do it on my own computer and just had to guess everything. Dude, OneDrive's a fucking nightmare. Last time I set up a PC, it started doing everything automatically, and I was like, uh, excuse me? I'm good, thank you. Please stop, you're bothering me. It turns out it doesn't listen. It just continues doing what it wants to do, which is really annoying. I can't Professor's Research now, by the way. I need to top deck this boss. Theoretically, I could judge. Much like the rest of my life. The research here is annoying, but at least they can't boss anything for us. So annoying, dude. I hate Miltank. We've literally got a 40% chance to draw what we need to draw next. A 40% chance. I like those odds. I told you I like those odds. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, you made me bloody work for that. Alright, we did like literally nothing with Giratina in that, but uh, that's an interesting little Arceus deck. I liked it. It was, it was good. It was fun. Love a, I love a judge. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Jojo Armani. <laughs> 1,125 damage. Just no need. Interspersed with rants about how much he hates it and doesn't want to use it. I said, I'd rather you didn't have to either, but you have to submit a uni assignment on it, so it's tough to it. Dude, OneDrive sucks, though. It, it is bad. Oh, cool, the battle pass isn't available.